welcome back <clears throat> welcome back this is the uh, week seven of my video log learn panel with google um, this week was quite hard as i didn't move much forward uh, with the um, current uh, module of the course as the topic was quite complex um, so early uh, this week I started the third module of the course using Python to interact with the operative system uh, where we studied uh, regular expressions in Python um, using the RE uh, Python module um, and that, that was quite interesting but at the same time uh, not the easiest thing I've ever, I've ever done uh, so this module uh, the RE Python module was included in the Python standard library so there was no need to install it um, but just to import it into our file so we started with an introduction uh, to the basics of regular expressions uh, what they are and why to use them and basically a regular expression is a search query for text um, and uh, we use a string pattern to search in the text um, it offers uh, flexibility flexibility over the index method on the strings uh, to find a specific pattern uh, which is why uh, it's used a lot um, for this kind of purpose uh, so after covering the basic theory uh, we imported the module and we worked on few simple regular expressions using the search method uh, we briefly covered also how to use red regex which is another name uh, used to call the regular expressions red regex uh, so we covered how to use regex in with a command line tool uh, like grep and we studied um, some of the regex reserved um, characters like the dot uh, which is known as a wildcard uh, that represent any character any single character and then the card uh, which returns the the word starting with the given pattern or the dollar sign which is which does the opposite uh, I mean returns the word ending with a given pattern uh, so at the end of the so at the end of the first section of the course module uh, there was a uh, two questions quits that I passed and then I moved forward to the next session uh, in the second session section of the course we studied the basics of regex so um, and here we did a lot of products and examples so a lot of coding challenges as well as uh, studied uh, most of the reserved characters and functions that comes with the RA module. Uh, then we started using consist consistently uh, the search method and row string search patterns um, inside our scripts. Then uh, we created a lot of scripts and uh, we did a lot of products and used the different reserved characters, um, including the dot the card and the dollar sign to perform different search queries uh, using the RE uh, module. Uh, then we studied um, character classes, how to define them and how to define a range, how to use card inside a character class to search characters not part of a group. Uh, then we use the pipe character to define multi multiple uh, values uh, for our search pattern and then we studied how to return all matches um, of our regex expression using the find hold method then 
uh, often during the course, during the videos of the course, there was a um, coding challenge in the middle of the video. Uh, so you have to complete it before moving forward. Uh, that's what I've done. Um, and I passed all the challenges that I um, found during the um, section for this uh, module of the course. Then we learned how to use the repetition qualifiers and to how to find the repeated matches. Uh, we studied the star, the plus and the question mark uh, qualifiers and how to use them uh, with some practical exercises, so some more coding challenges. And essentially here the star qualifier uh, match all characters uh, until the card that comes after it uh, while the plus um, qualifier matches one or more occurrences of the character that comes before it uh, and instead the question mark uh, qualifier returns one or zero occurrences of the character before it uh, it sounds complex and actually it is <laughs> that's why it sounds complex so um, uh, also during this episode of the course there was a quick coding challenge uh, before moving forward um, that helped quite a lot um, as you make sure you understood everything during the video so otherwise you watch the video again and I, that's what I did actually this week I watched every video each video twice at least and then I took notes uh, of every video so uh, just to make sure I mm, understood exactly everything uh, since the topics since the topic was quite complex so next we studied how to escape characters using different approaches uh, we have learned how to use the backslash um, to escape any special character or how to use backslash w to escape alphanumeric characters including numbers and underscores how to use the backslash d to do the same for digits uh, the backslash s to escape white spaces including tabs and new lines or how to use the backslash b for uh, word boundaries then uh, as usual there was a cutting challenge uh, for this episode um, then we moved forward and so regex in action with more practical examples and more coding challenges at the end of this section there was a two question practice quiz uh, with a score i had 100 percent i passed the quiz and then i moved forward to the final section of the quiz of the course uh, where we studied some advanced concepts and we wrote more regular expressions uh, more advanced regular expressions and that was challenging honestly this section started covering the capturing groups concept and we worked more on repetition qualifiers we used numeric repetition qualifiers we wrote more scripts and we did more products make sure we understood everything um, every single concept then uh, we studied two new methods of the RE module which are the uh, sub module uh, uh, sub method and the split method and also in this section of the course so there was a cutting challenge uh, in the middle of the video with the final product squids with again two questions um, that I passed uh, so I passed all the uh, product squids with 100% score and uh, now the module is complete so I am at the end as you see here of the regular expression modules and I am ready pretty much to start the final challenge um, uh, which is again using the quick labs um, that spins up the um, google uh, virtual machine uh, using the google cloud platform 
so on the cloud and I will let you know how it goes but hopefully I will complete it uh, successfully um, so but before taking this uh, final credit assessment here is where I will be uh, receiving a final score for this uh, module of the course I just took a minute to, to rest uh, this week is gone and today is Sunday so um, I will probably uh, attempt to do this uh, final credit assessment tonight if I'm not too tired otherwise I will start start it tomorrow uh, as first thing I do in the morning uh, but finally um, yesterday I have I managed to record uh, the fifth episode of my um, le uh, Python course for beginners uh, which is a, which is part of my consolidation plan uh, to make sure I understand the basics uh, so I consolidate the basics uh, of the language uh, so it's part of my journey learning Python and I managed to do only one video this week as I was pretty much busy and before the end of next week I am planning to either complete this credit assessment that you see here um, on the screen as well as start the fourth and hopefully uh, if the concepts are not too um, heavy I will complete fourth module and pass even the fourth graded assessment um, but I am also planning to um, record the final bit of my Python course for beginners that is in Italian and that will be the sixth and final episode of the course uh, after that I will keep working on my consolidation plan uh, and complete the official Python tutorial um, as well as to some coding challenges uh, on Hacker Rank which I didn't this week um, that's pretty much it for this week I'll see you next week for another episode of my Learn Python with Google Video Log and as always stay home protect your family and save your ass take care everyone